Alright, I'm going to make a little tutorial video of how to remove the tank on a 1290R. Don't know how useful it'll be, but <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. So, just to give you an overview here, um, first part's going to be removing the seats. Then uh, you actually have to remove the side panels before you can remove the top panel. Uh, remove the, the tank ring here, remove the top panel. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I usually uh, unscrew these, make it a little easier. And then there's a bunch of stuff on the bottom that we got to disconnect. So I'll kind of do that as I go here. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is remove this. It's a T20 Torx. This item is the tank ring here. Kinda of just gonna get that out of the way. Okay, on the, uh, at least on this model, you can't actually remove this until you remove this first. So, uh, way to do that, since I've done it a million times now, this bolt, remove this bolt here, and then it just slides right up. So we'll do that. Okay, now we got the top piece that's got to come off. So you just got a you know, bolt down here, uh, these two on the sides, and this will come off. Now, just to know, if you're needing to take just the tank uh, ring thing here off um, from the fuel tank, uh, if you have something wrong with your switch or something, you can't do it without taking off this plastic. This plastic kind of seals around this. So you need to do all those steps. Even if you're at a gas station and you're having issues, you're gonna to have to do all those steps to get this thing off. So <clears throat> it doesn't take very long once you get used to it. It's pretty quick actually, but just you know, for future reference, you can't get this thing out by itself without taking out the plastic that's around it. Thing kind of just slides forward a little bit. Oh, I forgot a couple. Now we got to take off, or at least I prefer to take off this side bearing. You might be able to get away with just doing this bolt and sliding it in, but. I've never done it that way. I always uh, take off the whole thing. So what you'll see here is that we got to take this this bolt off, take off your uh, uh, pre-filters if you have them, and then there's another bolt right, I don't know if you can see it on here, right under here. And then you can take this whole side piece right off.
almost forgot, you got, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a bolt, there's also a nut right here that allows this thing to come off. Okay, now I'm going to do uh, the connections here that go to the, t the tank top thing. So we got a little connector here that needs to be disconnected. This needs to be disconnected. This hose needs to come off with this hose clamp. And there's one more hose on this side. And that's all for the top of the tank. So first part, so on the bottom we have a few things we got to do here. So first of all you got these valves, they need to be turned off and I'm actually going to turn them off, disconnect and then turn them on to drain all the fuel because this thing is right now full and uh, six gallons of fuel is pretty heavy so um, makes it a lot easier to get on and off. So. But you got to turn these valves all the way so they're closed, so they're not going to dump any fuel as you're disconnecting items. You got to do it on both sides. If you do it on one side, it's just going to drain fuel from the other side through that hose. Um, you also got this wire. I'll do that right now. It's got to be disconnected, and then the, there's a fuel. I don't know if you can see it, but. There's a fuel clip right here that we're going to disconnect as well. So I'll start working on that. Alright, so I put a little tank here to drain the fuel, open the valve on the other side, and it's going to drain the fuel here for a few minutes. All right, last bits here. Got to remove these bolts on the tank. There's one right up here we got to take out. And then, like I said, I'd like to remove just the bolts. I leave the rubber piece in, but take the bolts out. It makes the tank come out a little easier. Alright, so this is the air box. So 
and unscrew that, check it out. 